Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to easily remove tracking markers from your footage using Mocha Pro. So here in Mocha I'm going to go to File, New Project and then we're going to click on Choose and then we're going to browse to the footage, click on it and then click on Open. Alright, I'm going to leave all the settings as default as you can see it's got the frame range and also the frame rate here and then I'm just going to click on OK and then just give it like a minute or so, it's just going to cache through this clip. Okay, so once that's done, you can just scrub through the clip to see if everything is there. And as you can see, it's just a very basic um, clip I shot with my iPhone. And I've got some uh, tracking markers here on the floor that I'm going to show you guys how to easily remove. So I'm going to go to frame zero and then I'm going to click on this create X-spline layer tool. And then I'm just going to draw a um, X-spline around this area where you can see these tracking markers. And then I'm going to right click to end that. And um, then with that layer selected, I'm going to enable perspective here at the bottom. So I'm on the track tab and then enable perspective. And then I'm going to click on track forward. All right, so the track is done. And if we scrub through, you can see the track is uh, looking good. So I'm going to go back to the first frame or frame number zero. And um, then on this layer, I'm just going to double click on this layer and I'm going to rename it. Let's just call it main track. And um, then we're going to create a new layer. So I'm going to click on this create explain layer tool again. And um, let's just zoom in here a little bit first. Um, so we can just get a closer look here. So I'm going to click on this explain tool again. And then just draw a explain around one of these tracking markers like that. And then right click to end it. So with layer 2 selected I'm going to add a new explain. So I'm going to click on add explain to layer. And then I'm just going to draw another explain around one of the other trackers. Right click. And then I'm going to click on that add explain again. Just do the same with all your trackers. All right, so the last one. There we go. All right, so basically all these explains are sitting on layer 2. So I'm just going to rename this layer. So double click on it. And then I'm just going to call it tracking markers. All right, so with tracking markers selected, I want to link that to the main track. So here at the bottom it says link to track. And I'm just going to choose the main track. So now if we scrub through this, you'll see that those um, tracks actually link to the main track. So that's actually tracking nicely as well. So let's just zoom out here. And uh, next we want to create a clean plate. So on frame zero, I'm going to click on the remove tab here at the bottom. And then I'm going to click on create here at the bottom under input or input clip. And that's basically just going to create a clean plate for us. So now if I go to the finder and I go to the results folder inside our working folder, I'll see there's a TIFF file and then we're going to open this with Photoshop. So I'm just going to right click on that, uh, open with and then choose Photoshop. Okay, so here we are in Photoshop. I'm just going to zoom in here a bit and um, then we're going to unlock this layer. And then I'm going to use the clone stamp tool to remove these markers. All right, so I'm going to hold in Alt to sample this area and then just quickly paint over these tracking markers. Okay, so that's looking okay. And then I'm going to go to File and then just save to overwrite this clean plate. I'm going to choose None for compression. Click on OK and then OK again. And then we're going to go back into Mocha Pro. All right, so you're in Mocha Pro, still on the Remove tab. I'm going to click on Use Clean Plates Exclusively right at the bottom. And then I'm going to set my illumination to Linear. And I'm going to set the Dissolve to Blend. And then set the Dissolve Width to 10. Press Enter. And then I'm going to click on this render forwards. Okay, so the render is complete. And then I'm going to go to view and show all overlays. Just going to switch that off so we can see our render. And as you can see, if I scrub through this, that is looking pretty nice. So yeah, that's how easy it is to remove tracking markers from your shot using Mocha Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And remember, I upload new visual effects and motion graphics tutorials on a weekly basis. So if you're interested in that, please click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys next time. Cheers, bye.